Hey, what is up there, guys? Uh, Ultimate Fall here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Hey, by the way, I was just thinking about something I bought this week. I thought I got a good deal on. I thought it was special. And I thought it might even be vintage. And uh, maybe some of you guys know somebody, or you know maybe really what this is worth. I bought this old, as you can see, this old Montreal Canadiens jersey. It's in terrific condition. It's not perfect. And uh, hang on, let me just uh, do a little uh, thing here. Okay, so you can see it's gray here. I got it here on the vintage bus seat here, school bus seat, right? And I saw it on the rack here at a, at a secondhand store, and then I saw the tag. I said, holy shit, look at the tag here. Check that out, old CCM tag, made in Canada, and it's written twice, 1983. And then I did some research when I got home. Well, I already knew, actually, that's, that this was uh, uh, the Stefan Riche uh, hockey player number. I mean, obviously, I don't think it was his. Uh, but I did some research. I didn't know he was with the Canadians between 83 and 2005. I mean, wow, that's amazing, you know, 22, 22 years. Anyway, uh, I paid 15 bucks for it, and um, I was talking with my cousin yesterday on the phone, and uh, he's a bit mentally disabled, you know, he's not all there, and he's like, oh, he's like, give it to me. <laughs> he's like a kid, you know. And um, and I'm like, yeah, so I'm like thinking, I just got the idea, I said, oh, I'm going to make this video, this update of my my Metro uh, uh, painting, I said, so maybe, I know a lot of you guys are sports fans out there, maybe you know somebody uh, who could tell me what the approximate value is it. I figure it's from the 80s or 90s because it says made in Canada, made by CCM. Because as you guys know, uh, thanks to free trade, uh, all our textiles, almost all of it, went overseas to China in the 2000s. So, there you go. So if you guys have any idea, get, you know, leave, leave me a comment. Anyway, so I just made myself a delicious, strong cup of coffee. Mmm. You know, it's great. I buy this coffee that's made here. It's been made here for the longest time here in Montreal and Quebec. It's called Orient Express. Fantastic coffee. It's probably even better than McDonald's or Timmy's. A huge can, like, cost me 16 bucks. Sometimes on special, it's great. Anyway, so as you can see here in the last uh, last segment, part two, I showed you some work, some progress. Obviously, I've been doing to this thing, the MR63 train at uh, Jolicoeur Station. And uh, here it is right now. Okay, I don't know why the hell I sat down for. And um, as you can see, it's going well. Uh, but, you know, in life, as you know, everything comes at a price. And... Um, you see, the thing is, I've noticed in, the, in about the four or five times I've been working on this thing, I would say two or three times out of five, uh, I end up straining my eyes too much, specifically my left eye, I think, and due to my visual impairment. And uh, what happens is that I get a headache. And uh, like especially the day after, like most or half the day, I'll have a fucking headache. And it's uh, really because the painting is so small and it takes so much um, strain on my eyes to meticulously work on all these little details. Let me just give you a, show you the comparison. Look, there's the Monarch painting. See? Not the same thing, right? I'm working much, much smaller. I've never actually made a painting this small before. So going quicker, uh, sort, of, sort of seems that way. I don't know. It's so detailed. There's so many details on this. Uh, this picture and me being a perfectionist so what I did is uh, since there's lack of fucking sunlight today being uh, uh, April 14th and it's an unfortunately long-term forecast doesn't even look good hell it could be the end of the world by the 18th for all we know and uh, the way things are going with fucking Syria Russia the US uh, <laughs> well let's not talk about it so um, anyway uh, what was I talking about so anyway, so I brought in my lamp over here, which by the way, you know what's amazing is this thing was in the garbage on my street like a year or two ago. All I had to do was clean it up, put a couple of bulbs in, and voila, works like a charm. And it's funny because the other one I have in my office, which is the same type, but the fucking base is broken on it. And the base, believe it or not, underneath that, that aluminum, the base is concrete. <laughs> it acts as a weight. Anyway, so uh, I added this lamp, and then I thought to myself, how else could I, what could I also do to reduce this strain on my eyes my crappy eyes so i have uh, where the hell is it where are these um yeah here we go it's these glasses that i got from the montreal association for the blind a year or two ago and um i thought i'm gonna give these a shot again 
and you can see there's an augmentation in uh, um, in the lenses and, it, and how you're able to see it. It's basically like you're wearing magnifiers, like magnifying glass, you know. See what I mean? If you can see there, it works pretty well, but it's not stopping my stra eye strain problem. So that's irritating. So basically it means that whenever I work on this painting, which is going well, as you can see, it's going to be a fucking pain in the ass. I'm not going to be able to work longer than, let's say, an hour, maybe a little more. And that's that's the way she goes, you know. Um, so you can see I've been working on the wheels a bit. Not No, I didn't really. I worked on the tires a little bit. I worked on that third rail there, which is with the track in the middle there. That's yellow. Uh, also, I fixed the headlights a little bit. I took a black uh, VTEC pen. And it's funny because I've been drawing with these pens. These are amazing pens. I've been drawing with these. And they're not cheap. You know, four bucks a pen is not cheap. Five bucks a pen. And I've been drawing with these since uh, since the 90s, you know. Oh my god, uh, maybe even, yeah, oh yeah, like 25 years almost. And um, so I thought to myself, well, I'm going to use that to do the, you know, the black there on the doors and here and this thing here to step and all this stuff. But, you know, again, there's still a ton of work left to do here. And also, uh, this is paint though, the, uh, the rubber bands here where the doors close. And... Um, you could see I added in on the lights here inside and also I worked on this guy here the back wall wall of the uh, cab and uh, <clears throat> this this fella here I just wanted to do a typical way a guy looked typical you know in uh, prior to the 90, 90 prior to the 1991 rebuilds of these MR63s you know guy with the you know kind of longish hair mustache you know like how a lot of our dads looked like my dad looked whatever and, and yeah, so it's going well, but it's just, I, I don't know when I'm going to finish it. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not like uh, rushing it or anything. I'm, you know, the, the whole point is to have fun, you know. Oh yeah, I gave another coat to the uh, the, the sky here. I actually thought about putting a, a new look bus here. A GM new look bus, like part of it here, you know, for the 112 stop. But I'm like, meh. 112, 110, no, 112. And uh, so yeah, so far so good. Oh yeah, and you can see that... Um, uh, yeah, the, I put another coat, a couple other coats of blue there, specifically the darker blue. Uh, it was not, uh, it wasn't conducive to what I saw in my picture that I'm using. Ah, it's good coffee. So yeah, so hopefully next day I'm, so hopefully tomorrow I'm not going to have a goddamn headache, you know. And, uh, yeah, and uh, like I said guys, if uh, one of you guys uh, know anything about that jersey, uh, please let me know and uh, I mean I'm not you know it's funny because you see how I mentioned right away what I paid for it $14.99 you know one thing by the way I hate about I look at I don't know how many old car videos classic cars people you know they buy the flip or whatever or not even they never fucking mention practically what they pay for that I hate that it doesn't you know they never pay oh no I can't mention what I paid for because then I'm not gonna make money people are gonna fucking uh, you know, they're not going to give me what I want for it. Just fucking say what you paid for the damn thing. Anyway, I guarantee you one thing. If ever I flip and buy and sell classic cars, I'm definitely going to do that. It's all about transparency, you know. Anyway, Ultimate Fall saying, have yourselves a good one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.